hey y'all come on in you know what i was thinking about latrice um her signature sayings you know and little quotes and little just little things she did that you know i call her signature like um drop those stars in that jar and a new donation you know and all those little things and even the cute way she used to say get what get what when she tries to say guess what and she has a little accent with it and it's funny because i was watching a video um clip before you know where um coco used to try to you know be funny or whatever when she told him to get on and he started like saying little things you know like drop those stars and he was like when he would talk he start saying get what you know like how she said it or whatever as well as him using a couple of her other phrases and sayings you know um and as did other people and the reason i bring this up is because i noticed trees doesn't say that anymore and i don't know if it's you know due to the fact of people you know kind of making fun of it at some point like she talking about drop them stars she talking about this and that but those were her signatures you know what i'm saying like and i think she should have kept that how like you know tab brown says hello there you know she always say hello there and starts that out or you know some people have a little signature saying so um, I feel like she should have kept that and she should bring it back. I don't care. Don't worry about what nobody think. Uh, but just, you know, bring it back. Have her own flavor and sauces and don't care about what nobody think. Because they done tried to hate on this woman since day one, whether it be her business. And I, I don't mean her business that everybody got their nose in. I'm talking about her business, her warehouse, her her own business a black owned business they talked about that oh look why she getting knockoff why she getting this why she got this why she got that person instead of this one you know and you know just really really talked about her or whatever like what business are you running i, I just don't get it you know congratulate she was a black entrepreneur running her own business and I, i'm proud of her you know even though she, i guess she closed it down or whatever and then they started hating on the seasonings she tried okay whether she needed you know to to change and do do better labeling or whatever she needed instead of talking about her you know elevate y'all could have googled stuff the ones that put her down could have googled and said hey you know what I think, you know, go with this company for your labeling or do this and that. Um, you're trying to mix it in a warehouse, sis, but don't, don't, don't mix it there. Uh, do it here. And the funny part about it is I forgot that lady name that Coco was promoting for her uh, seasonings. And you don't know how she mixed hers or where she mixed it at. You don't know these people that's um, nine times out of ten, the people that's making these facial products, um, and you know, uh, brightening soaps and all that, they're making it in their house, in their kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Like, people make it in their home when they do body butters and everything. They're making it in their homes. It doesn't mean it's contaminated. You know, I'm sure they put on gloves and they're doing what they need to do, but they don't have these warehouses and these big manufacturers to do all of that. So they got to talking about how she was mixing it in the warehouse. You don't know how Chef Carmen, and this ain't saying nothing against Chef Carmen, so don't go, don't come for her. Um, but you don't know how Chef Carmen mixed hers. I was looking the other day when she was in the warehouse, and I see her all her labels, I see seasonings, but then I also see buckets in there, plenty of buckets stacked in there. So I'm pretty she's sure they probably scooping. Because if they got the labels, and, and I'm pretty sure they got the containers there. If they got the containers there, I'm pretty sure they got the product there. So I'm pretty sure, common sense, they most likely put on a hairnet and some gloves. And maybe even, a uh, you know, one of those jackets like the pharmacy techs wear. Something to cover up their clothing. And they, they scoop that seasoning in there. But anyway, don't hate. Congratulate as always. And have a wonderful, wonderful Saturday.